I have come and 12 members of our original uh, group are here uh, with me back to Mumbai on the second anniversary uh, to host a memorial program here at uh, the Oberoi Hotel and to uh, officially launch One Life Alliance after the Mumbai terrorist attack. Kia recognized that her role in life had radically changed. She could withdraw and be a recluse and suffer silently for the rest of her life. Or she could step up and into a whole new role that perhaps could help people. And that's what she chose. Right away after Mumbai, the words of Jesus Christ came to me and I said to my family, as Christ said long ago, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And that's really what I felt about the terrorists. They know not what they do. Just forgive them. I look at it as this kind of celebration of who we are now. And so out of something I think that might be considered very, very negative, I think there's always the possibility for hope and change. It certainly is a wake-up call, isn't it? it? Gets your attention. I have compassion for them. Yes. And if Kia can forgive them after losing a husband and a child, surely many people ought to be able to at least open their hearts to just kind of forgive. Every year in our Jewish tradition at Yom Kippur, we have a service where we remember the people of the past. And I now consider Alan and Naomi to be part of my life and my family, and I always stand up and speak about them each year at this event. So um, I feel very connected to the dead and to the wounded. So we're, we all feel very connected. We have seven other members of our family uh, with us, total nine. My wife wouldn't, wouldn't let me come back here by myself. So she, she said, you, I, I'm coming with you if you're going back. This is a, a wonderful chance for them to come and see the situation that we told them all about you know, when we got back. This is the list from two years ago of the uh, scents and oils that we uh, smelled and, and sampled. And so I kept this and thought, one day maybe I'll go back. One day maybe I'll go back. And here I am. So. <laughs> I didn't really have any fear about coming back, but I just felt strongly that my daughter was the person to come with me. Yeah, and I'm so grateful that she chose to come. You know, Naomi was just like being with my daughter, because my daughter is a very conscious person too. Oh, look at this one, it's called Naomi. I wonder if this is the mix they did for Naomi. They did a special one for her two years ago. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Doesn't it smell fresh and youthful? Mm. Ha. She's immortalized in perfume. They took away a lot. They took something away. So what can I give? Gandhi said it best, be the change you wish to see in the world. If we disagree with the terrorists and their actions in the extreme, then we're going to respond with the extreme in the opposite. And we're going to increase our commitment. So that's really what I'm dedicating the rest of my life to. And it's that which keeps me going. It's, it's that which keeps me from staying in a dark place. <laughs>